have you with us from Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Aggie Memorial Stadium, home to the New Mexico State Aggies. You know, we love coming to the land of enchantment, especially when we have an enchanting game like the one in store today. And this is the kind of game college football fans love, because they don't have to wait for the weekend for this Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs taking on the New Mexico State Aggies for EA Sports College Football Extension 10. 29, 10. Looking to throw, it's Turner. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Well, that quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going, but moving forward, let's see if we... Fires into traffic, picked off! And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Well, statistically, this defense is not one of the better units against the pass. They're trying to change that here today. What a great job tracking the ball down, making a play on it, stabbing it out of the air for a big interception early. That should be massive. The serve or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. But the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. We're lucky that one hit the ground. Just keeps moving. And chunk plays. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. That usually equals a first down every couple carries, so don't forget about the run game. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Aggies! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense. Being able to stay on the field, you're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making Mark it at the six. And the Bulldogs trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Corners are going to bail. Trying to run it in. And again, he gets nothing. This defense is not giving up anything on the goal line. Keeping it on the ground on third and goal. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Fourth down here, it's still early in the game. I'm not chasing points. Take the field goal, pay the strike. And they have analytical cards nowadays that says the exact situation, what the score is, do you go for it or not? Look at the card, make the decision. And he missed it. No good. And here in the second quarter, missed field goal, leaves his tied, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. They'll throw it on first down. A shot for the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bulldogs! Touchdown, And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like it's been a terrific scene there today in Las Cruces.
And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half, or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. Put up the big stats, but when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal game. Pass on the way, it's picked off! Didn't get a chance to show off those return skills, but he gives his offense the ball at the 29. I'll tell you, you got to give the defense credit, though, because with these conditions, it's not easy to catch for the offensive players, certainly not for the defense, but great eye-hand coordination securing that interception. Me four shoot, I might even get me five Reload. on second down. Looking to throw a shot toward the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one on one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. Art, you can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money, he's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. If they throw it again. Snags it! Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the beatdown has ensued. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Not a good day. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Aggie! You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panic ever really help? But certainly, this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics. And I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days. But guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things. But find those things that you need to improve on. Keep working on them. Keep developing. Those things you do well, dude, let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. So that's going to do it for us.